Alex Maskey, another very important day up here in the Assembly. Well, it is indeed, because what we have here today, as you know, the Minister has tabled the Welfare Reform Bill, which essentially will introduce very severe cuts to those who are most vulnerable in our society. So the, the debate's on their way. There's a battle of wills on their way because people are prepared to acquiesce. Some parties are prepared to acquiesce to London's dictate on this, whereas a number of other parties ourselves and the SDLP at this moment are actually saying we're going to resist these cuts and we're going to oppose this bill. And we have, as you know, had a contextual concern to this bill when that succeed in the House today. So we're at uh, the negotiating table after this afternoon's debate's over and despite all the rhetoric that you'll hear in this morning, we're still faced with that crunch issue. Are parties here going to defend the most vulnerable in our community? Are we going to stand up to the British government uh, against these severe cuts? Or are we going to lie down and acquiesce? And Sinn Féin is clearly not for lying down or acquiescing. We are fighting this. Uh, if that means that these institutions are at risk, that's not a decision that we're taking. Um, but cl- quite clearly we've made it very, very clear that we want these institutions to succeed, but they can only succeed if they're working in the interest of the general public, not if they're going to be just taking hand me down cuts from London. How important is it that all progressive forces in this community, the trade union movement, the community centre, stand side by side with Sinn Féin in fighting not only these cuts but the ones that are coming down the line? Well, I have just made it very clear in the Assembly in the debate there in my own remarks that uh, we have had the trade unions, the churches, all of the churches, we've had the community and family sector, we've had the human rights and the equality commissions and a range of other organisations which have actually laid out very clearly in our view how these cuts from, from London will impact very badly on people here that we represent and I have called on all of those people in those sectors that we have to join together here. It's not enough to say uh, you know, we're against something, we have to work very, very hard to oppose them and I have made that very clear this morning in my own remarks to the Chamber that I'm calling on the unions and the other sectors out there who have been very strong and very clear in their own opposition to these cuts that we now have to work together with those and they have to work together with themselves. If we don't stand our ground and oppose David Cameron's uh, intention to slice the budget even further come this July, then we're all in deep trouble and as I say, Sinn Féin is not prepared to stand uh, idly by in that uh, prospect of that.